Hey guys, what's up? Evil Hammer 6 here, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at these uh, training dummies uh, that they released into the, well, it's not the Squeal of Fortune anymore, it's Treasure Hunter. Um, but I got two crates of them, I figure we'll uh, go ahead and do them and see what kind of uh, experience we get. Um, as you can see here, if you're looking really closely and you're creeping, uh, my name now is just Evil Hammer. I don't got no six on it finally. Um, that is the original name, and I got it finally uh, because they released the second batch of names which included the um, E words, well the E names so I got my evil hammer with no six. I'm pretty happy about that. But So I got a medium training dummy crate and a large training dummy crate. You can get them in just regular ones or you can get them in these. So uh, we can take all the dummies. Um, we're gonna probably we're just I'm just doing magic because uh, a long long term goal is um, 120 mil mage for the 120 cape. I'm only at 50 mil, so we're nowhere close. Uh, but it's just you know that's his only really experience I care about because I'm maxed and everywhere else. So we'll go ahead and deploy this little buddy, uh, and the it falls apart. So we will go ahead. It is an elite one, and it looks very interesting actually. Um, Probably should have changed me <laughs> this little thing here to maybe you know auto retail well not auto retaliate but you know, actually update these spells on it so I could actually use something now it has not that much health really um, okay it's blocking stuff that's very interesting uh, but it's basically dead already um, that was really quick oh oh it came back to health what is this stuff uh, I don't know how long these actually last so uh, this will be interesting. Let me switch over here to some more useful spells here <laughs> since uh, I don't have any of them actually on my bar because I was trying to drop some stuff before and I I, I didn't get to dropping it because it wouldn't work so I was like, yeah, we'll screw this and I uh, I just said, oh well, well, we'll just do this later. So it's almost dead, so let's go ahead and use one of those. Oh, it comes back up. How many times does this bastard come up? Are we just going to sit here for like ages and this thing's just going to keep coming up and down? They're supposed to explode at some point. You cannot, with abilities, uh, stun one or more. Oh, so you cannot actually use the chain ability because it hits more than one target and it won't let you do area of effect spells. Okay, so I'm assuming it's going to permanently die now. <laughs> when does it die? Oh my gosh. Because it's supposed to die and give you a giant chunk of experience, but it isn't dying. It just keeps coming back to life. Um, are you going to die now? Please die. There we go, 3,000. Oh, so every time it dies, it gives you a chunk of experience. So I got 3,000 that time. Uh, I do have double experience right now in Mage, so about 1,000. And I'm maxed, so that's pretty interesting. Now, So it does it do it every time it, you kill it? So if I kill it this time... Okay, I do. I get 13,000 experience at the end. So those are pretty damn good. So we're going to go ahead and deploy another one. Maybe. Yeah, buddy. Let's get some Mage experience. So these are pretty good experience. So, um... Per crate, you would probably see about what dies two or three times. We'll count this time how many times it dies. So it died. Let's see here. We'll go with once. Bam! One time it died. Okay, three thousand. So we'll just go with one thousand five hundred experience. It's a little bit more than that, but just to keep things simple. Uh, that so that was one time. I think it died about three times before I got the final kill on it. Okay, so this is two times, so that's 3,000 experience we're at right now. I didn't want to do that ability. Oh well. We'll just wait a little bit and go boom. And that was a crappy hit, but we'll just keep going here. Uh, so after this, it will be 4,500 experience as soon as I kill it, which will be right now. Okay, that was, yeah, that was about the same, 1,600, so. 4,500 if you want to be technical. Technically it's 4,800 at the moment. And I believe it died permanently this time. Nope, another one. So um, let's see here. While I'm doing this, whoops, cancel. So 1,600 times uh, 4. We got 6,000 or 6,400 experience so far. And one more time. Let's see what it does here. Die, die, die. I believe it falls over and dies permanently this time. If I remember correctly. Oh, yes, and then you get the 5.8 at the end. So we come over here. 
uh, plus uh, 5,800. So you get about 12,000 experience total from it, which is pretty damn good, um, considering I got five of these in one little crate. Uh, well, that was a large crate, which I believe is a rare on the spin. This is a medium one. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was... I opened the medium crate. How many does this have in it? Holy crap. We're going to see how much a large one has in it. This one had five. So five times 15 is almost... what? Um, 10 times 15 is... Uh, 75k experience per medium box, which is pretty damn good. Um, pretty pretty good because all you got to do is just sit here and spam. You could even put on your... Um, your what do you call it your revolution um, and do it even with momentum if you wanted to but I'm doing the mage one so I don't really want to use my runes because I'm a cheap bastard even though I have a bunch of money I like to keep my money so go ahead and knock it over this time oh hey that's cool it changes uh, it changes the uh, side that you go on uh, unfortunately you can't use that ability which is kind of a pain in the butt uh, pooey on you pooey on you just go ahead and do the ultimate ability. Now we're going to open this other crate after I kill it real quick. Unfortunately, I don't want it to go away, so I do want to kill it um, because I'd like my experience. Uh, I got them, so I'd like to use them. And oh, so you can actually use. Nope, I only did it once. That was interesting. Even though I had more time on the timer to use that, it only hit it once with a overtime spell. Interesting. Very interesting. But the the armor is definitely badass on these. I'd like some armor like that, especially this this guy's pretty sweet looking. That armor is pretty cool. I like that as a cosmetic or even as a um, actual armor in game. It looks pretty awesome. And this one's just a mage training dummy. The other one was an elite. So maybe as they go down, they go tier wise. I'm not sure. And his helmet falls off. I didn't see that animation. That's pretty cool. And then I got more experience. Okay, so if we take all of these out of here. How many are we gonna get? Let's see here we got those two were from the other one one two three four five six seven seven times a oh, wow. 105 experience from a large crate that's pretty damn good so that's all I really wanted to go over guys um, as you do see I have the Noxus staff it's not really any the big deal um, compared to the seismic so um, it's just a two-hander so it does about the same a little bit more damage not big deals of damage only if you're using abilities um, would I recommend it. So uh, the special ability is fairly pointless. I wouldn't even bother using that. Uh, the spider doesn't do enough, doesn't take enough damage for it to be justified as an ultimate ability. So I will see you guys later. Bye.